Hello, my name is Keith Coates. Been with the company 25 years, service technician out of Holland, Michigan. What we're going to talk about today is actually the seed unit uh, vacuum, and we're going to touch on exact emerge and the proper adjustments and how to get the maximum yield out of your corn. So we're going to start with the seed disc. This is actually the Pro Max 40 seed disc, um, the most common one we use for the seed corn. Depends on what crop you're planting. Deer offers a large variety of seed disc for your corn planter, whether you're using soybeans, popcorn, seed corn, uh, any amount of beans, we can, we can pretty much match any crop you want with proper seed disc. So with this Pro Max 40 seed disc, in your seed cover, your bowl, you're gonna have a couple of different options. You're actually gonna have a knockout wheel. If you can see right here, this is actually gonna rotate through. It matches the holes in the back of the plate. So that's actually gonna help knock the seed out into the seed tube out of your disc. The other thing to maintain on here is watch, is make sure your seed seal is in good shape. It should be soft and pliable so that you get a good seal from the vacuum off from the disc to the seed. Where the seal rides is on this side of the seed disc. What you do want to check is make sure it doesn't groove the disc so you can get actually a vacuum leak out of that. When adjusting for corn for the Pro Max 40, what you are going to have in your row unit is a double eliminator. And what that does is actually a bar that gets dropped down and it's going to cover about half the hole of the seed disc. You're going to want to put your seed disc in, lock it down, and then your double eliminator is going to be right here. So to adjust the double eliminator, you've actually got a rotary dial on the back of this row unit. What we want to set them up for is number five because that'll be 50% of the hole covered. Now they do offer some to tools to adjust that. So what you do is align the notch up, put the tool in, measure the notch, the how far down the double eliminator is into the hole. If it's off, you can adjust here in the back with this dial. So another very important adjustment on, the, on this row unit is to see this tension. So what you wanna do, is rotate this disc and you can hear a slight drag against the disc. And what that's doing is it actually has got the tension against the back of this row unit, like against the double eliminator. So to adjust the disc tension, you actually move the hub. You would remove this cotter key, cotter key, hold the back, and you would actually adjust the, the hub in or out according to what you want to adjust. Put the key back in. Reinsert the disc, lock it down, and double check your tension. After I made the adjustment to the hub, as you can tell, now there is more drag against the seed hub with the seed disc against the back plate. This is probably actually a little too tight, so I would probably go back to my original setting. So if you're going to plant soybeans with your, with your planter, you would change the disc. This here is a soybean disc. This one here, it would be a cell type disc, where the other one is a flat disc. This you would remove the knockout wheel and you add a flat blade just as a scraper to get the seed out. Install this, do the same adjustments. You would go into your monitor and change for how many holes that this actually has in your monitor so you get the correct population. The one thing we talk about now is with planting is to increase productivity. We talk about faster speed. With this type of row unit, with the ME5 and the ME5E row units, this has got the seed tube drop, which the seed drops down the curve tube, gets picked up by the seed sensor, and drops in the ground. That tube is actually designed for five miles an hour, five miles an hour seed drop. That would be a zero drop at the seed disc. Anytime you are under or over that, you can start compromising your seed spacing. What we're gonna talk about now is our exact merge seed unit. This is a high-speed planter unit. This enables you to plant up to 10 miles an hour with precision accuracy through the field. The heart and soul of this unit is gonna be a curved bowl seed unit. This is our corn unit. So they also make a soybean unit 
which this has got 32 holes. The soybean unit has got 64 holes, so they utilize all the holes in the disc. With this unit, the seed will come down into the, into the bowl here. The vacuum will hold the seed up against the bowl. You've got this agitator strip here. What you want to make sure is that there is still bumps or riffles on this agitator strip, and this will be used for corn. For soybeans, you'd use a smooth strip. They don't require using the agitation strip. As the seed moves up, like our other row units, we had the double eliminators. This also has the eliminators, the fingers. So you have the inner eliminator and an outer eliminator. The inner eliminator is adjustable. Normally where we have it set is in the middle position. There are white lines that indicate what position they're in, and that would be for corn. For soybeans, you would actually drop it down. So as the seed comes around, it's going to get where the brush intersects with it. It also is going to have a knockout wheel that's going to run in that bowl. The same knockout wheel would be for corn and for soybeans. That assures a, a direct transition into the brush so it can be deposited into the seed trench. So the adjustment of the seed bowl, you, what you do is you adjust the, the hub height on the un, unit. You would remove the cotter key, hold the back of the shaft, twist the hub in or out, to get the correct tension of the bowl. The bowl is much tighter than our disc units. As you can see, this has got a fair amount of drag. Here. So as you adjust it, move your hub in and out to get the proper drag on it. These units really like a lot of tension on them, um, but you do need to make sure that they tension. One thing that they will say is that if it's too tight, can cam over, and that is a too tight position. So you want it to be able to rotate without camming over. Once the seed leaves the seed bowl, it gets put into this brush. The brush is driven by a separate motor. As it gets turned, the seed comes in and gets deposited into the seed trench. What's cool about this system, as the speed increases, the, the belt speed increases, to maintain that zero drop into the seed trench. So whether you're going four miles an hour or 10 miles an hour or anywhere in between, this is gonna maintain the seed drop at a zero into your seed trench. Provides a very accurate and precise seed placement into your furrow. So here I've disassembled the seed brush unit. Snaps apart rather quickly. A couple things you wanna check at. You've got an idler bearing down below with the seed at the lower part of the unit. You've got your transmission up here that actually adjusts, that drives the seed unit. The seed would come around here. This is your seed sensor. So what you want to do is make sure that that is clear if you have an issue. You can remove the sensor just by popping it out. But as you reinstall the sensor, please take note of there's a tab that can get on the outside of the sensor and that can give you inaccurate readings of your seed. So this is your, your brush belt. As you can see, it's just literally a brush. As the seed gets put in, it comes around, and then when it opens up, this is where it transitions the seed to drop. There is a small scraper underneath that runs on the brush, that that is one thing that you want to make sure is in, in place and that will scrape off any corn stalks or any dirt debris before it goes back up into the, into the brush. If you run in wet conditions, you may want to take this apart and see if you've got mud that's up into your brush belt unit, just so you don't wear your brush out and to maintain that constant seed drop. The tension of the belt is maintained by these springs. It's got a knob on this side that just cams over to maintain the tension. Other than that, it's all automatic. Into season maintenance, you're gonna to wanna to loosen this tension so you don't have tension on this belt so it takes a set for the next year. So what we're gonna talk about now is a very cool feature on the electric planters. It's called Mobile Row Runoff, and that's embedded in the Planner Plus app. Within this app is many options that you've got. You can, it helps you achieve vacuum settings, uh, population, uh, downforce, any configuration tractor setup within this app. 
So what we've done here, we've just opened up the Planner Plus app. As you can see, you've got several options within this app. You've got several checklists that you can do, pre-planned checklists, into season checklists that you can go through. Within the planner, you've got meter, seed delivery system. It'll help you set your vacuum, the CCS pressure, downforce, all within one handy app. It'll actually give you a changeover for different crops, what to do, how to change over the crop, step by step. Very nice app to have. The cool thing about this app, actually, is this enables you to do mobile row runoff. So you can take your planner, your exact emerger, your ME5, your electric planners, and run your row units individually to see exactly how to dial in your seed units. So what they've got here is, if you see at the lower right corner, you've got an icon for like a wireless data, like a wireless connection. So what you do actually do is go into your planner. The planner sends off a Wi-Fi signal with a password. You go in and connect to your planner, follow the steps to adjust the, to get the mobile row unit, mobile row runoff unit running. You actually choose your row. And this is what the page would show. It's actually got the vacuum, the population, and what settings you want to set. Once you get it started, you can swipe to stop, start, and it can actually go through and show you your singulation, multiple skips, vacuum as it goes. As this is running within there, you can actually change the vacuum setting, change the speed, change your seed population on the go, all within this one individual row. You can go through and do this across your whole corn planter. It's a very handy and efficient way to do this, that you can actually, you've actually used your corn planter as a test stand to check your population. Thank you for watching the presentation on seed units. If you have any further questions, please visit your local Greenmark dealership.